change of business. The company has decided not to sell, not to, to, to have business of selling and buying dry goods. They have decided to start two businesses. So they will first convene a general meeting of shareholders with the shareholders, majority of them, I mean, three fourth majority of them support this decision. Then you see the special resolution will be written down on a piece of paper and it has to be submitted to the registration of registering, uh, registering authority of the companies. And you know it very well that registering authority in Pakistan is for security and exchange commission of Pakistan. So the arbitration in the memorandum of association of a company shall not take effect until confirmation by the security and exchange commission of Pakistan on petition by the company. I mean, the Security and Exchange Commission of Pakistan has uh, no authority of uh, taking so moto action until and unless they don't know, they can't keep the record, you see. So the company would submit, the company means one of the directors, one of the representatives of the company would submit to it. And if it is confirmed, if, uh, if the alteration is confirmed, only then it is it, it, it is going to take effect. Otherwise, no, two requirements. Okay, I, I think now everything is clear about uh, the alteration of memorandum of association. Coming to the se second most important, uh, <coughs> second most important document which is needed for the registration of a company that is called Articles. And don't forget that yesterday I have told you in detail that memorandum of association is to regulate the relation of the company with the outer world. You see, it has every detail of the company's, uh, the company's business and activities. So far as uh, uh, articles of association are concerned, they are the rules and regulations. Uh, for for the internal management, for regulating the internal management of uh, the company. So they are bylaws. Article of Association of the Companies are regulation and bylaws for governing the internal affairs of the company. Number one. Number two, they are regulations, you see, for the internal management of uh, the company. How you see how the general meeting would be convened, how the dividend would be distributed, how the directors would be elected, what would be the terms of office of terms, all these details are found in the articles of association. Uh, thirdly, you see articles of association define the powers of directors and offices of the company as well as the powers of the shareholders. It also, you see, uh, the article of association, you see, they prescribe and they define what would be the powers of directors and what would be the powers of auditors and other officials of the company and what would be the powers of shareholders. Next is uh, uh, the article of association defines the duties and rights and the powers of governing body of the company as between themselves and the company as well. The governing body is the board of directors. What are their powers? What are their duties? As I told you that directors, they are actually running the business. Practically, they are because the company has no existence. It is an imaginary personality. So some nature person must be there to act on behalf of this uh, nature or juristic personality and they are directors. But their directors are bound to be within the authority given to them by the articles and memorandum of association. If they are working within the authority, so they are not working, they are not acting for themselves. And what are they doing? You see, their acts are not attributed to them. They are, you see, they are attributed to the company. And company, the, the acts are binding upon the company, not personally, as long as the directors are within the authority given to them by the company. Okay, so they are called to act intra wise 
I N T R A Intra V I R E S. I think I'm very poor in spelling. But when they are doing something which is beyond the authority, they are crossing. You see, the borders of authority given to them by the company, then their acts are called ultra wise. U L T R A. And the second word is wise. V I R E S. Ultra wise. We'll be coming across these terms frequently. So, uh, this is the article of association uh, which you define. You see the powers of uh, the uh, board of directors. And this is the article of uh, association uh, which uh, uh, you see prescribe the mode and the forms in which the business of the company is to be carried. And so far as the uh, you see memorandum of association, it simply says the it simply says that the company would be, uh, you see, erecting a sugar factory. Would be buying, would be buying sugar cane from the farmers and will produce sugar and will sell it in the open. All right, only this. But so far as the details is concerned, what would be the rate and how would be, you see, the transportation of sugar cane? All these details. How the sugar would be taken to the market? either directly by the factory or through agents etc etc all these details you see can't be accommodated and not needed to be accommodated in the memorandum of association so they are prescribed and they are defined in the articles of association uh, lastly articles of association define the uh, uh, from uh, yes they define the form of the business activity, how this business will be done. Okay. Uh, coming to the definition, the legal definition found in the in the Act uh, of uh, Article of Association. In this regard, section two, subsection three. Section two, subsection three defines articles of association. It says that article means, I mean, look, again I'm telling you. Might be you will say what what type of definition is this? What funny type of definition is it? Let me read it to you. Articles mean the articles of association of a company framed in accordance with the company's law or or this act. Okay, so company law has given details, suggestions. They can be adopted for the articles. Uh, and uh, don't forget, time and again, this is the only course of years in which you don't have a textbook, isn't it? For the rest of your courses, you are students of uh, finance and uh, accountancy. And you have for every course, you for economics, you have a textbook, so many authors, different authors, different versions, for accountancy, for marketing. But in law, you don't have a textbook. You, in law, you have legislations, acts of the party. And don't forget that the drafters, those who drafted drafted the company, uh, the company or law, or the company act of 2017, never had in contemplation, and they are not supposed to have in contemplation that the this uh, act which is being drafted and uh, you see they never keep in contemplation that the, the act which they are drafting would be taught by a teacher in a classroom. They don't care for that. They keep in mind, you see, the applications. They try their utmost not to leave any loophole, any flow in the law. And for that purpose, sometimes law becomes very lengthy. Law becomes very difficult to understand. So it's very simple. Article means the articles of association. Contents so far as the contents of the article articles are this and they have been provided by the act that it should contain these details now this is up to the company you see how to draft it but you see uh, the contents which are prescribed and provided in the act they have to be adopted uh, again let me read uh, the definition uh, found in section 2 subsection 3 of the articles of this regime. what are they Article means the articles of association of the company framed in accordance with the company law or this act. 
any previous company know or the present company can. Okay. Come the next uh, uh, next uh, we see thing is registration of market. They are to be registered. When the company is registered, you see, naturally, obviously, you see, first uh, before the registration, at the time of uh, application for registration of the company, these two essential documents have to be submitted: memorandum of association and article of association. So, section 36 talks about the registration of the articles. It says that. The articles of association of a private limited company, whether limited by share or guarantee, may be registered, signed by those who have subscribed their names to the memorandum of association of the company. The subscribers to the memorandum may set out regulation for the company. Okay. So uh, the, the company, whether it is uh, limited by share or guarantee, it may register its uh, articles under section 36 and these articles must, must be subscribed like, like the case of memorandum of association by few of the shareholders, by few of the promoters who are the future shareholders. And you see, uh, once they are registered, they can be changed. Alteration can be uh, introduced into the articles. Just suppose that you see some procedure of the business is uh, needed to be changed. So far as the object of the company is concerned, so far as the main uh, main business of the com company is concerned, that is found in the memorandum of association. But the, the form or the procedure of the business is found, the details are found in the articles of association, and the details can also be changed, altered uh, through a special resolution here too. Uh, according to section 38, a company may, by special resolution, alter it. It can introduce any change in it, but the same requirement. You see, requirement number one is that uh, any such alteration should uh, so made shall be as valid as or, and once once articles are uh, changed, altered, amended, they would be considered to be as they were found in the original draft. Okay, and the previous version would die. Will will come to an end. Secondly and thirdly, alteration which affect the rights and liability of uh, some members. If the, the alteration which is being introduced, don't forget that for alteration in the art, any type of alteration, in the, in the articles of association also needs a special resolution. And I don't need to repeat it. What does uh, uh, special resolution mean? You know it very well. Okay. So uh, you, you see, might be, might be there is uh, some, uh, some change or some alteration which affects the rights of uh, a class of shareholders. So last, uh, in last paragraph of section 38, there is a provision which says that where such alteration affects the substantive rights of uh, or liabilities of members or a class of members, it shall be carried out only if a majority of at least three fourths of the members or the class of members affected by such alteration, as the case may be, exercises the opinion through vote personally or through proxy. Okay. If just suppose that a class, a class, a part of shareholders, you see their rights and liabilities are affected by the introduction of this alteration. So condition is here not only special resolution, but three-fourth majority of that group which claims that their rights and liabilities are affected by this competition. They just suppose that, you see, there are 400 numbers, 400 shareholders, and 200 of, uh, you see, 100 of them, 100 of them, they claim that this alteration affects their rights and liabilities. So not, not only this resolution shall be passed by overall three-fourths of the majority, must be supported by 
300 out of 400 shareholders not only this but it must be supported by uh, you see 3/4 of 100 members whose rights and liabilities are at stake if you see as a whole the the uh, the uh, resolution is supported by 300 out of 4 but unfortunately the class of the shareholders who claim that their rights and liabilities are affected by this alteration only uh, you see a uh, few of them or half of them or uh, you see two third of them less than three four have supported the uh, the alteration would not be affected i hope you understood okay the last item in uh, today's lesson is uh, prospectus prospectus is something which is uh, I mean, very similar to the prospectus of your university. What do you find in prospectus of your university? All the details which you need. Who is in the management? Who is the pro chancellor? Who is uh, you see academic officer? What courses are there? How many faculties? What courses are offered? What is the fee structure?